I called the show for my friend Eve because she's been dealing with uh, her ex-husband. Um, she believes that he molested her children um, over the course of eight years. And she's been suffering from it every single day. Even I've been friends since the third grade. We do everything together. I look at her as my sister. When she's hurting, I feel her pain. I, I have to look at her cry. I have to look at her look sad in the face. I have to look at her with no personality. Like, he's stolen everything from her. When she told me her ex-husband, Paul, had been molesting her two children with him from eight months to four years old, we both were just like in tears and crying. And I hugged her. Um, I asked her what she was going to do. I just basically tried to comfort her. It made me feel like he should ride in hell. It's even worse that it's their father. The one person that you should trust in your life is your father and he took that away from them. He had the nerve to call and ask to see them. Like, nothing's happened, like he, he's this old, perfect father. You didn't look at him as your children when you were doing what you're doing in eight months. So why do you want to see him now? So you can continue doing what you're doing from eight months to four years old? Now that she won't let him see the kids, he's accusing her of coaching them to say that this was done. He's accusing her of doing those things herself. In reality, he's the one that did it though. He needs to go to jail. And I'm probably wrong for saying he probably needs to death him because how could you molest your own daughter? How could you do that? There is no way my four-year-old would lie and fabricate or make up a story of that nature. I've never coached her. Uh, at the age of four, she went to a relative's home of her father's and it was for a weekend, she returned a different child. As she put it, she knew what <laughs> Beaten from head to toe. What, what exactly did your daughter say to you? She told not only me, but my family as well, that we were living with at the time, where he touched her and she asked why. Why wasn't I there? And that the other male relatives in my family don't do that. Um, when your, your daughter told you this, did you take it to the doctor? Immediately. Immediately. And what happened with that? They took pictures. They refused to do a, vas a vaginal examination on her. They didn't want to cause her, reportedly, any more pain. There was a case. People were questioned. Case was closed. Uh, the doctors said that they didn't disclaim nor claim that it did occur to her since there was not a vaginal examination done. The bruises they also attributed to a pigmentation in her skin. Bruises are red. The pigmentation in her skin is a lighter color brown and a complexion of mine, not red. Could it be somebody other than your ex-husband? Absolutely not. No, it's got to be him. Got to be him. Okay. Now, you believe the abuse started when your daughter was eight months old. Uh, why, do you, why do you think that? <sighs> My daughter started having <laughs> that I felt were abnormal. She was diagnosed with not only a yeast infection, but a doctor that advised me that it appears she had been tampered with in that area. I told her there's no way. You know, it's just... Just me and my husband with her, you know. Right. Nobody keeps her, she wasn't in a daycare. It's just us, it's impossible. And it, it was impossible. The doctor said, I've seen this many times, I'm gonna schedule you an appointment with a specialist. That appointment came and went. I was to get off of work at 3 a.m. that night. I did not see him until 9 a.m. in the morning. The appointment was missed, it was scheduled for eight. Uh, I think back. I can recollect many occasions that things did not make sense on. There were many times where he would say, if you come home and I think you're high or drunk, I'm gonna go in the room and lock the door to keep you out. It was at those times that I started hearing noises. And these noises were not just any noises, they were moans. Moans of people having sex, okay? The time you were with Paul and these incidents were going on, were you using drugs? 
adamantly, adamantly, I became a heavy user of cocaine. It was so bad, I didn't want to go home because whether I was high or sober, he was going to beat the brakes off of me. Period, no questions asked, none. Lies was told on me because of jealousy, mad because I moved on. And so she just began like coming up with these false accusations as a block to keep me away from my kids. Basically, she just got addicted to coke, saying that she was trying to lose weight. That's why she started doing coke. But it just got to the point where she'd be coked out and I couldn't leave my newborn daughter with a coked out chick. So I drove her butt to St. Louis, dropped her off and left her there. And then was hoping that she would get her act right. And in the midst of that, I met another female. She found out about it, and that's when she started like kicking down my doors, stalking me, going through my trash, just on some crazy lunatistic stuff. And then she realized that I wasn't messing with her like that no more. That's when she came up, like I said, with this cockamamie story. She's accusing me of molesting my daughters. The day that she said I was I molesting them, they were over at a relative's house. Later on that night, she called me saying that I molested my kids when I wasn't even with them that day. Uh, when I got the phone call, I said, female, you crazy, and hung up on her. Like, what's wrong with you? Because I already knew she was a nut, you know what I mean? Like, after this, she first made the accusation, it's kind of like she backed up off of it. And then she got locked up for uh, leaving my kids in the car while she was in the mall. She got arrested for that. And that's when I called her, and I was like, look, I'm coming to get my kids. You, like, you off, you unfit. And that's when she went back to the story again and started pulling more gasoline on it and made it even a, a bigger story after she got caught up. Yeah, even the authorities think that she's lying. Child Protective Services came and spoke with me and dropped the case because they felt like she was lying. It's been since past Christmas since I seen my kids last. I miss my kids every day to the point where I don't sleep much. I mean, when you with your kids every day for the first years of their life, when you know you're the ones that got to cook for them, change the diapers, when she was coked out on her, running off doing whatever, and you know you were the, the main parent that was doing everything, and you know that you had babies by a chick who said that she didn't want them and she feels like her kids were her downfall. I despise Eve. I feel like she's the scum of the earth. I mean, she's trash. You are claiming that she sexually molested your daughter? At the end of the day, I don't know if, if, if my daughters are saying anything. You said happened, it on the tape that I did if, it. If anything happened to them, I know for a fact she did. You, she, you yeah. believe that if they were molested. Yeah, it was her. So, but you think that maybe they weren't molested. I mean, at the, my daughter looked in me in my eyes and told me that I touched right. her. So Paul came here today, he hasn't seen his daughters, and he took this lie detector test. And we asked him, regarding your oldest daughter, have you ever sexually molested her? And Paul said, no. Regarding your youngest daughter, have you ever sexually molested her? Paul said, no. The results for those two questions came back the same, and it came back that Paul told the truth. Truth. He's letting that bitch. We asked Eve, did you ever sexually molest your daughters? She said, no. She told the truth. This ain't about her. And that's good, right? Because now we know that more than likely these kids have not been sexually molested. And uh, that's what we want at the end of the day. Eve, we asked you, are you fabricating the story that Paul sexually molested your daughters? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. You river rat ass trash. See that? That's did your you, buddy, right? We asked That's your her, buddy, right? Did you ever coach your daughters? We asked Eve, did you ever coach your daughters to say that Paul sexually molested them? She said no. And the results are she did not tell the truth. No. Um, well, you know what I'm gonna do? And not, well, and not, I mean, Paul, well, listen. The one good thing is you being on the show, you know that you can. You can obviously track her down because, truthfully, two, two your daughters tomorrow. should I have meet, the right to see I meet up my lawyer at 2 right. p.m. tomorrow. That's I'm why I'm glad I, you I came here and cleared your name. Good luck, too. And, uh, you know what? Like I said, you did a lot of drugs. I think the coke ate your brain up, but... I wasn't you know, doing yeah. drugs. I wasn't in Vegas when it happened. Right. I had just had a second baby. Right, and I, I'm saying... I wasn't in Vegas when I'm it saying, happened. Now knowing the results, I would, hope, I would hope that you would let Paul see his daughters. That's all I'm saying. Show's over. You got your answers? You came here. I was right. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. 
it was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.